guys and welcome back to my channel. I've been absent for quite a while. Since the pandemic started, I haven't been posting on YouTube at all. I've been having issues within my house where I didn't have enough space to film my videos because my husband is working from home. He's kind of taking one of the rooms for his meetings and I cannot film while he has meetings. <laughs> Let's talk about the elephant in the room. I'm pregnant. I am due in January and I am very happy to be having another kid. This is going to be a boy as well. My first baby is a boy. I'm going to be a boy's mama. In this period of time, I've been posting more on Instagram. I am posting almost daily and I am very active on my story as well. See you there. Throughout this pandemic, I've been having this feeling that I cannot make enough videos that are going to be interesting for you. We all stay in the house almost all day. We kind of changed our interests and how we spend time. I have this amazing idea of this YouTube video. Vacuum robotic cleaners. I've been testing. I am very happy to share my experience with them. When I was looking for a vacuum robotic cleaner, I didn't know which which people to believe. Most of them haven't been testing more than one device. I've been lucky enough that one of my friends did borrow Media Robots. I tested it and afterwards I bought myself one. It wasn't the same brand as theirs. At this point I have experience and I can talk about both of them and I hope this will help you in order to decide on buying a more expensive robot or more affordable one. Here is a table with all the aspects that are important for me. Some difference between the two backends. I'm going to get into more details on each and every subject. <laughs> Giving stars to one brand or another is not enough. I am taking my laptop with me for this because I have some notes here that are going to help me. First item, how easy is this to use? The Roborock S5 Max, you have to learn how to use the app and you have to log in into their system. If you are not friendly enough with the apps on your mobile phone, you shouldn't buy this item. Otherwise, I would give it like 4 stars because it's, it's not as intuitive as I expected. There are two apps that you can use and when I first tried one of them, I wasn't quite uh, into it and I got into the next app, so I had to install and use two apps. Regarding iLife V8S, I have to say that it has a remote and you take the robot wherever in the house you need it to clean. You just press a button or use the remote and it's going to just start cleaning. Uh, you can tell him how to navigate through the room. It has three types of navigating. We'll do the job until you just tell him to stop. This one is quite easier to use up front and it just works. Second item, can I install it and use it immediately? Well, for the Roborock, I have to give it like three stars. I know that I had some experience with the, the iLife robot and maybe this is why it was harder for me to use Roborock. But I just placed the Roborock somewhere in my house and told him to navigate around the house. It has this L-I-B-A-R system that helps you navigate through the room, scans and he knows your room type. But if you do not leave him go throughout all your house in his first cleaning, he will never know where he is at any moment. He started with one room and got into the hallway and when we started back to vacuum, one of the bedrooms, he thought he was in the kitchen, in the place where he first scanned and he didn't know where the walls were anymore and he was like, oh, it, it was a blur for, for the whole app. So I had to, to delete that map and start all over again. It took me from three to six hours in order to vacuum my whole house and in order for the vacuum to understand where each room was. It's kind of long process for this to happen you know with the other one it just started vacuuming the house and if you close it in one room it doesn't care it will clean the, that room and if you leave it all the rooms open he will go through all the rooms he knows that stuff i don't know how but he knows it i left gets five stars and <laughs> roborock gets three stars i'm sorry but it was kind of hard for me with the scan you know number three on my list it's cleaning quality. For the rubber rock I am going to give it five stars because it cleans really really well all the floors, he mops the floors and I have here a picture with my baby's feet after the house cleaning and because he's walking on the floor without any socks 
you will see if there is some dust on his toes or if there isn't. And with Rob Rock, the, his toes were very, very clean for the whole day. Yes, five stars for this. I Life, I think it's kind of four stars. I don't have a problem with the mopping system, but I do have a problem with the vacuum. When the robot vacuums, it kind of pushes some of the stuff away and maybe he never gets back to it because he went there before, it just blows some stuff out of his way instead of blowing it so that he can vacuum. Ah, four stars for this. Number four, can they vacuum and mop at the same time? Well, Robora gets five stars because it can do this. And Alive cannot do this at the same time. I had to vacuum all the floors and then mop all the floors. It wasn't an issue for me. Number five, can they spot clean? Yes, they can both do that. I am going to give four stars for both of them. For the rubber rock, I have to take it away and press on a button and he kind of stops all his activity and does the spot clean and he doesn't know to go back to his job, maybe it's because I don't know how to use the app pretty well yet, but I haven't been using this feature as much. It cleans the floors pretty well from the right from the start. With the iLife robot, it's a little bit easier, but it doesn't always clean the, the hard mass. So this is why I'm going to give it four stars as well. Number six on my list is their battery life. There were so many people telling that oh my god, this robot has only 120 minutes and the other one has 180 minutes uh, lifetime battery. Well, it depends on your house. If your house is not big enough, you won't need a vacuum that has a very large battery life. With the iLife, because I have to vacuum and mop the whole house, it takes it two tours for the house to do this job. Maybe it can take it longer and the battery will go out faster. But I did manage to clean the whole house with only one charge. And we have three bedrooms, a kitchen, one bathroom and a large hallway. I think it's kind of enough for most people. If you have a bigger house and if you are not living in an apartment and you have a larger house, yes, you will need a battery lifetime longer than 120 minutes. But otherwise, you won't. I think both of them are quite well at this point. It depends only on your on your floor type. Number seven on my list, it's how easy it is to clean the robot. Before buying the robot, like three or four years ago, I bought myself a vacuum that was both brushing the floors and doing the vacuum as well. This machine was very, very hard to clean and I stopped using it even though it cost me lots of money, like 250 euros or so. It was easier for me to use a mop and a regular vacuum than clean that vacuum. The robots are very easy to clean. They have like a small bin where that you have to clean and the mop is just a cloth that you have to clean. The rubber rock has something nice. Even though he vacuums and mops at the same time, the cloth from the mop, it's not very, very nasty and it doesn't have lots of dirt. So I think he kind of knows to vacuum before mopping because he has the mop only on one half of the robot. It's very, very clean. Good job for both of you. Number eight on my list is how easy it is for the robots to access coffee tables or go under a bed. Here, Rob Rock is kind of taller than the iLife. Sadly, it cannot go under my coffee table and the iLife just goes under all my coffee tables. Hmm, interesting. I didn't expect that. I don't mind it that much, but it's a good enough reason. Number nine on my list is do I have no access zones? This is kind of a tricky thing to use in the Roborock app. It has like no-go zone and it has like spots where you can tell him to not go there. We had like um, a small issue. We are having some pipes in our house that are on the floor and the Roborock thought that he can go past them because there was a little bit floor left. He couldn't go through that. I'm going to show you some images here. And he kind of got stuck there. So I had to add no-go zones. With iLife, we didn't have any issues. He didn't try to go there. Both of them are okay from my point of view. I'm not sure 
if you can find this before you buy the robot. I know iLife doesn't have these features, but he didn't try to get over my pipes or I had some like needles in the floor and he didn't get stuck there, so it was okay for me. Maybe I was lucky. I have like a 10th item, but it's not kind of an item that needs much comparison. Maybe it's not that helpful for you, but the iLife has a longer charging cable and I was able to put the plug up and Roborock has a really, really small cable. So I had to put my Roborock down. I had to plug it close to the floor because the cable was very, very short. I'm going to end here my review on both backends, the iLife and Roborock. These two robots were most advised for me to buy. Here in my area, these robots are very well known. They've been bought for many people and both of them have kind of different prices and this is different price ranges in order to see if you are going to pay a larger amount or a smaller amount on a robotic vacuum cleaner. I think both of them work very very well and I have to applaud them. It depends only on your lifestyle and on your floor system, on the way you are used to do things because if you are used to devices you can go for a robot that has an app. If you don't like devices, don't, don't, don't buy a robot that uses an app. It is going to be harder for you to use it. It's not impossible, but it's harder for you. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!